the fact that it only happens on that stage is just really lame. Yeah. In, in my opinion. It's still really unfortunate to, ha to lose your game five that way. Alrighty, so Shinae versus Jump City. Let's see what happens here, folks. Going with the Lucas. Alright, Shine just showing all of his characters off on stream here. Bringing out the Lucas for Grand Finals against Jump Steady. He's gonna have to get the reset and win the reset to take this tournament home. Alrighty, Shine. He's trying to figure out his way in right now. Jump Steady doing a good job of just using his movement just to make sure that Shine does not get in right now. Alright, Jump Steady taking it nice and slow here with the grab though. And Lucas, just like Ness, kind of a little bit more on the floatier side, so it can be uh, a little bit more awkward to combo. Yeah, definitely for sure. Oh my gosh, the Zare into a dash attack. And another dash attack as well. And right now, he's just zoning away with the PK Fire, so it's a very great tool. Landing there into the down tilt, but does not get the grab afterwards. Yeah, Shine doing a really good job of not getting grabbed here from Jump Teddy, and if you can do that against Zero Suit, you will be very happy. Fire's coming out. Jump City having a really hard time trying to make his way in. So saying a little bit of a similar situation like with Aimer where he couldn't really figure his way around the bullets, but it is a game five situation and a reset that Shine has to go through, so definitely a lot of potential here. Nice absorb coming in from Shine. And just Jump City's just having a little trouble getting in through Shine's horizontal spacing. Oh, let's run back here, that's gonna be it, man. That, that is so hard to react to. Yeah, I don't think you can react to it. I, think, I feel like you have to buffer something right away because it just comes out immediately. Yeah, especially with uh, Zero Suit using the side B to clip onto it so, so fast. Yeah, it's like you can act out on like frame one, I believe, actually, after the ledge drop. Wow. All right, so like, Shine had a really good lead there, but uh, Jump Steady just knew when to strike, when to get that stock. So now um, Jump Steady in the lead here. Yeah. Not really working out right now, but this Lucas we're talking about, one down throw I think will actually be able to lead into the upper kill. Maybe he needs a little, okay, may, definitely now I think. Yeah, especially if he has that low amount of rage, it's going to help him to have the combo, like, be more consistent. Yeah, but I guess caught by that. Oh no, that's definitely it. Oh, it doesn't even need the throw, it just does the solid up air and that's going to be it. Jump steady going for the all or nothing situation there, he wanted to kill him off the top with that rage, but doesn't connect. I almost got him off the top, not quite though. Yeah, not not having that rage. That that rage is so important for getting kills off like that. Okay. Down smash and the boost kick. Okay, now now Jump Steady has him uh, conditioned to the point where he's gonna start buffering ledge options because he's afraid of getting trumped. So he can really start putting more pressure out on his ledge. Yeah, at the same time, Shine tried to find the footso combo you can do with Lucas. Let's see if he tries doing it again. He does, but he does not get the dare. Yeah, oh, audio. oh man, forward smash gonna connect here for Shine. And a little light at the end of the tunnel, 53% on jump steady. Get that deal. Alrighty, I'll throw up air after the pummels. That's just enough what he needed to be able to take that next stop. And I was actually looking pretty scary for Jump because uh, Lucas was starting to get that rage. You know, maybe like if Lucas did, you know, maybe 30 or 40 more damage, he could have got the down throw up air combo. Yep. For sure. We're going to be moving on into our second game here, going to FD. I feel like this is probably one of Lucas's better stages. There's no platforms, can't camp out Lucas as hard. Yeah. So you have to definitely play the neutral against him a little bit more here. Yeah, and this, these are two characters. It's gonna be interesting to see who counterpicks the town because both these characters still off the top really well. Yeah. So we'll see who has the more like uh, double-edged sword mentality. Okay, jump. Starting off here with a very good lead, getting these grabs, getting a lot of damage. The jabs, only 8% on the jumps that he does far. Jumps that he's looking real good against his zero suit right now. Or against his Lucas right now. Right, so here we have the footstool lock. Oh, doesn't get the second lock though, almost. Yeah, that was uh, a lot of percent thus far, but Jump City already taking Shine to 103%. Got a lot of work with There's a force smash taking him to the other side of the stage. Not gonna be enough yet, but he's setting up the edge guard situation. 
Yeah, 130 already on Shine. A backer will definitely do it at this percentage. Cross stage? Oh, not enough. All right there, got the air dodge, but Shine kind of spamming it, so it kind of threw off uh, Jump City's timing, I think. Gets the bear trade to close it out. Jump City looking, looking nice right now, winners. Got the lead on game two. Yeah, very, very good stuff thus far. All right, into the fair. Isn't able to get the PK fire and a really high recovery coming from it into the kick flip. You That's not gonna be it. it. Yeah. Luke yeah. is definitely known for having a longer up B, like recovery wise, than that. Yeah. All right, so even with that huge bug, Shine is still in it here. Oh, wow, gets a sidestep. Oh, wow, interesting. Uh, did not go for the kick flip, actually, just used it for movement and try to get the upset instead. Shine trying to get this grab here. He really wants the down throw into up air combo to close out Jump Teddy's stock. But Jump, Jump Teddy knows this and he's keeping his distance. All right, there's the back air. Oh, uh, I guess right. Oh, wow. Down B coming in. Yeah, the PSI magnet actually puts in a little bit of push right there at the uh, release of it. He's able to get that up air. Calls out the flip kick. Shine gonna take the first stock with up air. Oh, and he gets a grab with the footstool. All right, this is the start of something big. Oh my goodness, this is clean. Oh uh, man, right when I do. Yeah. 47 damage though, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a pretty big punish right there. Right, there's the up tilt. Alright, so Shine, both these characters just looking for the grab right now. Still trying to zone out. I mean, he's bringing uh, ZSS to that high percent where he can try and get that down throw up there. Yeah, Shine has done a great job of bringing this game back so far. Oh, this is a big punish. That's for the down smash. That's like an off for the up smash, actually. I think he was trying to catch a drift away just in case. Yeah. The up smash is very strong. But the up B is going to do it for Jump Steady. Wow. And that was a really close game. Yeah. But Jump's going to take it. Now he's up 2 0 in set. All right. Give me one second. Go, Cloud. <laughs> Alrighty. I sent my piece to Shine. I told him to go with Cloud because I feel like that actually could do well against, uh, against what's his face. Oh, right, he's not going to go with Cloud. He's not going to listen to me, of course. <laughs> gonna stick it out with Lucas. I mean, game two was pretty close, but it looks pretty difficult. Yeah. Okay, Jump City starting it off with some Zare spacing. I like the crossover right there from Shine. Oh, I think he was scared of that grab. He just <laughs> dashed away right there. Did not get, if, uh, did not get that punish. He didn't want to have any of that. All right. Jump Steady going for these grabs. And then we got Shine with the footstool that almost doesn't lock though. Might yeah. be, uh, the percent might be too high. Yeah, I think he just popped out of that there, unfortunately. But it's on the dash stack coming out from Shine. There's a Nair's, not gonna able to get the second one. He's already doing a lot better here in this next game. Yeah, much slower pace, but Shine definitely getting the lead here. But just as we say that, Jump City coming out with these up air juggles, catching these landings. Oh wow. Jump City actually won getting trumped there. There's a neutral air, not gonna be able to find that back air. Shine trying to make something happen here. Yeah, Jump City actually. It looks, seems like he's getting a lot more comfortable getting around these PK fires, jumping just over them and falling out with an air where he can get a lot of follow up. Alright, down tilt. Is that going to be the stock? It actually will be. I feel like that was a bit of a DI mix up yeah. there. He was trying to DI outwards and got the fair out of it. Yeah, I definitely think he was scared of getting up aired there, and then Shine took advantage of that and hit him with that forward air. Yeah, very smart stuff coming out from Shine. Yeah, now Shine has the lead here. Let's see what he can do with it. Lucas can be sometimes pretty difficult to get in on. He has a very fast boxing option, his jab is frame two, and it hits behind him as well. I'm trying, to find, trying to find this ledge trap. Yeah, I cannot find this back air right now. All the hitboxes coming out, and right now, Lucas' air dodge is a little bit too strong for him. And Shine has been doing a great job of calling out. Ooh, Force Pad is going to do it. He's been doing a really good job. Calling out these jump um, the flip kicks. Yeah. 
48%. So that's a lot of uh, percent for Shine to work with right now, but at the same time, don't get out Jump City yet. Yeah, de definitely with a character like Zero Suit, with like one grab conversion could be like 50 damage. So. Um, I feel like if Shine really wanted to solidify his lead, he, he had to hold on to the stock much longer. Yeah. Uh, there's the bear, just not able to follow up with anything. Okay, we got some good switches here. Fun jump steady here. Gets the grab he needs. Doesn't get to the landing though. Right now, Jump City playing a lot more safe. Just wants to make sure he does not get punished too hard for getting the grab. Gonna catch that landing. There's the up. B, not quite. Actually, waits out for it and then goes for the back air instead. Good damage onto Shine so far. Yeah, I think he's just scared from going for up B and then like air dodging and getting punished after. Wow, really close game here. Jump Steady trying to find the opening he needs. So close to be able to take this next or take the set and the tournament right now. Gets a down throw. That should be death, and you are gone. Yeah. That down throw conversion from Lucas, really, really consistent, especially on fastballers, is going to be able to get the down throw into the up air. Going to close out game three for Shine. Yeah. Definitely still really close, though. So I feel like we got two counter picks for Jump City to get these platforms and get something started. So that's not going to look too good for him. And I'm wondering what Shine banned. I'm I'm guessing he banned Triplats, so we're going to go to town, town and City, and this can be good for Lucas too. He's going to be able to close the socks earlier with the down throw into up air. So we'll see who can really take advantage and get the grabs when it matters. Yeah, very true. John said he's still trying to get in with Azair, but Shine's going to get that and get the lock. Messes up though, it still gets a very good amount of damage though. See what he does, try to catch him on the platform, get up attack. That's what I'm getting, but... <laughs> that was a uh, standoff right there. <laughs> yeah. Very long standoff. Yeah, Jump City reacted a little bit too late, and Shine is able to make it to the ground. All right, there's Azair the stuffing out and gets the turnaround grab. What a call out from Jump City. Wow, these air dodge frame traps coming in. And with these platforms, it definitely, we've been having so much games on final, seeing the platforms really affect the neutral. They got that back air, not quite. Tries doing the ledge jump, uh, whippy <laughs> kickflip thingy. Doesn't quite work out there. Yeah, and Shine getting back on stage here, getting some good amount of damage, and I feel like a grab from Shine is gonna do it. But a boost kick, that might actually be able to take it. Not quite yet enough. Uh, interesting boost kick coming out from Jump Steady, but he actually gets it again. That's going to be the stock. Very smart conversion there. Going for the boost kick, he might have been able to fall out there. So the down smash into the forward smash is going to be the solid conversion to go for. There. All right, so now we have Jump City in a very solid position. He doesn't have to approach, but he still has to be very careful. He can't get grabbed. All right, there's a Nair. So get the second one. Yeah, and I feel like uh, Jump Steady's Nair spacing has just progressively been getting better as the game, as a set of yeah, I tried doing the drag down there to get something started. Not quite able to find anything. Cool. Dash attack? Yeah, not there quite. The dash attack almost kill confirmed there. And he just does it. Yeah, Try he calls out the short hop there in neutral. All right, does a bit start as something big. Goes for the neutral air into the lock, but it's not able to find that dare hit. Let's see what Jump City does here. Double up there into the up B. Not going to be able to do it just yet. I definitely wanted to go off the top, and I, I respect the decision there because we are on the town of city. But Shine finding the damage right now. All right, the platforms are back. This is big for Jump City to try and get some kind of conversion started. Tries going in for the grab, down throw. Let's see what it works with. Tries getting the fair, not quite able to find it. Jump City is so close to be able to take the set right now. Yeah, he really wants to just take this game and take it home. But Shine wants a game five. So much rolls, so much pressure coming out from Jump Steady here. Oh man, so many hitboxes coming out from Jump Steady. He's just trying to hit this man in the back air. Not gonna be able to do it yet. Almost does it. I mean, I feel like if he gets hit by another one by the ledge, that's it. Oh, that's it! That's a stock, that's and it. Jump Steady takes the tournament.
Jump Steady is going to take a 3-1 over Shine Ingrad. Not dropping a single set. Uh, what a great performance by Jump Steady here. He's going to take first place here at Falcon Punch Friday. Yeah, well, man, Jump Steady. I mean, I saw him tweet earlier that the Arcadians did it, and if he believes himself, he can do it. And he took it all the way. Man, what a way to end that Grand Finals. And... Super good stuff coming up from Shine also. Bring it all the way from losers. He lost, he went down pretty early, I think, actually, and was able to make it back all the way through top eight. So that's a pretty good run, run from him, too. So welcome back, Shine, to America. So let's give a round of applause to uh, Jump Steady. Yeah, good stuff to Jump Steady here. Yeah, does absolutely amazing job. So right now, we got the money match coming up right now. So good old $50 money match. Yeah, we're going to be waiting on that just a little bit. The Canes is still staring at me. I so want to eat it right now. I'm so hungry, but <laughs> I'm going to be teased just a little bit longer. And uh, we end the tournament at 2.24 a.m. So it's definitely not like that one time where uh, Ned was here and we ended at like 3.30 or something like that. So <laughs> there was a lot of entrance today. There was doubles and singles, of course. And we had 90 entrants for singles. Such a crazy